Hey guys, this is Neon, and today we're going to unbox and review the Wacom Cintiq Pro 13-inch Creative Pen Display. Please stick around. Welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. And for those of you who don't know, I've worked professionally in comics for over 15 years, both on creator-owned projects and licensed properties, including a ton of Disney comics. Part of our goal for this channel is to give other creators some drawing tips and tricks, as well as review tools that can help you become a better artist. For this review, we're going to take a look at the Wacom Cintiq Pro 13-inch Creative Pen Display. To work on my comics and animation projects, I've used a lot of different tablets over the years, from a Wacom Bamboo to various Unova tablets and even an iPad Pro with an Apple Pencil. But to be honest, nothing beats the performance of a Cintiq, even a smaller one. So when Wacom reached out and asked for my thoughts on their 13-inch unit, I absolutely wanted to take one for a spin. So let's open this unit up and see what's inside. The Cintiq Pro 13-inch comes with hookups for USB-C and an adapter for those of us with HDMI and, of course, the Wacom digitizer. Now, once the unit is unboxed, you can see just how sturdy it really is. This unit is rock solid and feels heavy for its size. Unlike my iPad Pro, it doesn't require a separate stand. It's got feet underneath that pop out. And also, unlike my iPad Pro, the Wacom doesn't feel like it has any give to the drawing surface, meaning I don't feel like putting weight on the screen will crack the glass surface. The drawing area is comparable in size to a 12.9 inch iPad Pro, maybe slightly wider, and the whole unit is very thin, meaning it would fit easily into a laptop bag. Older computers will likely require the HDMI adapter that comes with the tablet. However, if you're lucky enough to have a system with USB-C, you've only got one wire to contend with. Lucky you. Now let's take this unit for a spin in the studio. Again, you can see just how compact the drawing surface is. However, don't let that deter you. Even at 13 inches, this is 100% Cintiq. In Photoshop, there is no jitter at all. None. Just nice, smooth lines. And unlike Unova units I've worked with, you don't feel like you're drawing on a plane above your artwork. It's the next best thing to paper. Okay, here are my final thoughts on the Wacom Cintiq Pro 13-inch creative pen display. The pros are that the unit absolutely performs how you would expect it to right out of the box. It's a Cintiq. It really doesn't get any better, in my opinion. Now, the size of the work area can be a pro or a con for some artists. The upside is that this unit is very portable. Again, it's thin, lightweight, and can easily fit into a laptop bag. The con is that the screen size is pretty small, so if you're used to working on a larger surface, you might feel a little crammed. The price is another pro for this unit. At a suggested retail price of $799, it's the most affordable Cintiq Pro on the market. The next size up, the 16-inch unit, will cost you nearly twice as much. This makes the 13-inch Cintiq Pro an ideal unit for students, those on a budget, or those without all the desktop space for the larger units. The only downside to the unit that I encountered was that I had some difficulty getting the latest Wacom driver to play nice on my main art machine, which is a Windows 10 PC. After some trial and error, I was able to get it working just fine, and the problem was, I believe, having drivers installed for other pen tablet units. Overall, I would give the Wacom Cintiq Pro 13-inch creative pen display a 4.5 out of 5, with the only real drawback being the screen size but you can't beat the performance for the price. Please subscribe to Clownfish TV for more art videos, gaming videos, pop culture news and views, and more. This has been Neon. Thank you so much for watching. We'll talk later.